Track. Welcome to the channel. Um, first of all, this channel is going to be about technology reviews, overviews, and a bunch of guides on how to improve your setup at home. So make sure to subscribe to get notified. But today we're unboxing my first ever tower, like my own computer, and I'm excited. So let's get into it. So, I chose this Republic of Gamer Strix Gaming Tower because of a few special features that other ones didn't have. I spent $1,000 on this, um, and I live in Canada, so let's get into why I chose this. So, I chose this Republic of Gamers Strix GL12 Gaming Tower for a few reasons that I'll get into more in depth later, but Let's get into it. So inside, right when you open it up, you have your Republic of Gamers. Looks like a few papers in here. So in here you have um, some cool stickers. Um, that we will be putting somewhere, and I like, I really like their packaging. Um, this, there's a little package in here that has a nice little keychain, so that's pretty cool. And then, let's keep going here. So this bracket, um, goes onto the front of the tower to cover up the hot swappable SSD mount, but we'll, I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then you have the tower. Oh, a little box of accessories first. So here you have an Asus mouse. It's nothing too fancy, but it is a cool mouse that you can plug in via USB. This is the hot swappable USB tray, or SSD tray, sorry. Um, and this is the power cord that plugs into the um, power supply. So, and the rest of this is warranty card, um, startup guide, manual, stuff like that. Um, then we have this. to me like a keyboard. Let's see. Here we have a, well, what looks like to me a keyboard. And yes, it is a keyboard. Let's this out. Okay, so this is a full keyboard. Has really nice switches. Better than my current keyboard. Um, has some media keys up here. Um, so yeah, let's get this open. Looks like this is backlit as well. So, this is the actual tower. Um, we can get this open here. All right. You can see it has a rather jagged kind of design here, which I personally like. Let's crack this thing open and see what's inside of the computer. So here on the front, there's some I/O. You have some, you have four USB ports, headphone jack, and an S or a SD card. In this is also your floppy disk drive here, and this tray that we saw over here is for the hot swappable SSD mount. So you can put your 2.5 inch SSD on this tray here, and then. 
just this slides right into there, just like that. Now, this plate here, like we saw earlier, is to cover up this. If you don't want to see that, you can just put this on like so, I think. Yeah. Yep. And then, first, we have to do the satisfying plastic peel of I chose on this where the processor was an Intel Core i5-8400 6 core 6 thread. I chose 8 gigs of DDR4 memory, which is the RAM. The graphics card I chose was a GeForce GTX 1050 2GB card by NVIDIA. Storage, I have a 1TB hard drive and a 128GB SSD, which is an M.2. A floppy disk drive and integrated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So just taking a look around the PC, you can see there's some really nice venting on the top here, along with on the side and the front as we've seen a bit earlier on. Now the power button is in a weird spot. It's on the side to the right. Um, but with that being said, let's take a look at some I.O. on the back. So taking a look at some I.O. on the back, we have two USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI port, two USB 3.0 ports, along with your Ethernet, an optical out port, uh, for, this is for a rear speaker, for your sub, line in, line out, and to put a mic in. On the back you also have a DVI slot with another HDMI and a display port. These, why these two are empty is if you wanted to add a second GPU or a video card or something like that, um, you can add that there. And this is for your power cable, which we saw earlier, and this gray unit is your power supply. So, in higher spec models of this, it ships with a glass side panel, which I'm working hard to get right now. Um, so in a future video, maybe we'll have that, or just take this off to show you the internals. Onto the internals, there is Aurasync technology, they call it. So if you have a keyboard, headset, mouse, any peripheral from Asus ROG that has Aurasync technology, then you can actually sync this with your peripherals and vice versa. So the places it lights up is it has an LED strip on the bottom here. There, some of the components light up. And on the front here, this strip lights up, this strip lights up, and the logo lights up, which is pretty cool. More on that when we boot it. So just more in depth here, um, on the peripherals, this mouse feels really good. I'll definitely be using this, the scroll wheel, onto the keyboard. These switches feel pretty nice. They're not mechanical or anything but it'll be pretty nice for gaming, and I'm pretty sure this is actually backlit, which means there's like RGB in the back, so maybe we'll be able to sync the RGB with the PC. Um, and then, I love their touches that they put on everything. So here there's like a little cool keychain to put on your backpack or something like that. And then, you can see kind of like a reflective logo and lettering on that, which is pretty cool. And these peripherals connect via USB. So we're here on the computer, and there's four models of our same machine. So there's the GL12CX, CM, ours, which is the CP, and the CS. Now the reason I'm doing this is because all of them have sync technology built in, except for our machine, which kind of sucks, but I think this is a good time to just go through the specs in more detail. So, our model has Windows 10 Home pre-installed. It's an eSports gaming tower. We have an 
Intel Core i5-8400 processor, which is not hyper-threaded, but it's 6 core, 6 thread, and not overclockable, but that's still fine, that's a great CPU. Our chipset is the Intel H310. Our motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard, meaning we have, we have a smaller motherboard. We have the graphics card I chose was a GeForce GTX 1050 2 gigabyte card, which has one HDMI port, one DVI port, and one Display Port right on it, which is pretty helpful. Our gig, our RAM has eight gigabytes of RAM at 2666 megahertz, and we have two DIMM slots. Our expansion slots, we have one M.2 for a Wi-Fi card, but I don't, but I'm not going to be using that, considering there's built-in Wi-Fi. Mine actually has one M.2. There's another PCIe slot if you wanted to put in a, say, an Elgato capture card. And then there's the 16-lane PCIe slot that is occupied by our graphics card, which you can always upgrade down the road. We have four SATA 6, um, six gigabit SATA cables. Um, ours has one terabyte of a hard drive and 128 gigabytes SSD, which is an N.2, an M.2, sorry. But we have a one by nine millimeter optical disk drive. We also have two three and a half inch bays. We have one two and a half inch bay for an SSD, your three and a half would be for a hard drive, plus the hot swappable one on the front. But one of the drive bays is occupied, so don't mind that. We have an M.2 SATA hundred. Oh, sorry. We have an M.2 128 gigabyte SATA drive, as well as a one terabyte 7200 RPM 3.5 millimeter, er, sorry, 3.5 inch drive. We, unfortunately ours is not G VR ready, seeing that ours has a GTX 1050. It has built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, plus a Ethernet LAN connection, audio, and some preloaded software included, including Windows 10 Home, our front I.O. ports, we have two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A ports, as well as two USB 2.0 ports, one mic in slash headphone out, and one two-in-one card reader, whether that be SD or MMC. On the rear, we have two USB 2.0 um, slots, as well as two USB 3.1 slots, Gen, Gen 1 one HDMI, five audio jacks, one S slash PDIF jack, and one RJ45 jack. Our power supply has, is a 300 watt power supply. These are also the dimensions if you wanna see those. We do not have a transparent side panel. No AuraSync technology, unfortunately, so it's only white, but it is lit, no pun intended one keyboard, one mouse, a power cord, a warranty card, a quick manual, and that's about it. But the keyboard is only backlit with the color red and does not include Orsync technology. So that about wraps it up for now. To see my full review of the ROG Strix GL12 Gaming Tower, make sure to hit subscribe, hit like, and most importantly hit that bell to see all my content here on YouTube. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.